Words are powerful. People's ideas can influence other people. People can influence the whole world if they're too good to be ignored. On August 27th, 2011, history had been made. David Guetta released one of the greatest dance albums ever, Nothing But The Beat. And no other YouTubers, yes, yes, I'm talking to you. I'm not going to let you disrespect my man like that. It's not mediocre, it's, it's not bad, it's great, it's magnificent, it's one of the best. Remember I was talking about the power of influencers? You're influencing people to believe that my favorite dance album from my childhood was not good? I mean, I respect your opinion and all that jazz, but it's a wrong one. Just like you, I can have my own opinion and share it. So, respect it. Respect, like I respect yours. But in all seriousness, I, I needed to put out this positive review of uh, the Giddest album to the world, so that there's a balance when it comes to this album. I couldn't let people bully my precious brain. Uh, I mean, album. But th therefore, we are here, ladies and gentlemen, to revisit Nothing But The Beat by David Gale after its 10th anniversary. Man, I have tons of love for this album. Back in 2011, where pop EDM was globally getting more and more popular, my music preferences was already attuned to this type of tracks. You see, I've been following David Guetta's work before nothing but the beat. I enjoyed his tracks back in 2007, where songs like Baby When the Light, Love Is Gone, Every Time We Touch, and Love Don't Let Me Go were my addiction. Not only I had downloaded the songs to my PC as a 10 year old kid and used my Vinamp player at the time to listen to them, but also had downloaded music videos of David Guetta, to which I kept coming back to. All the crazy shit I did tonight, those will be the best memories. That was just a different era of music, a different feel, if you will. Maybe if I was my current age, 24 years old. Uh, in 2007 and had the same surrounding in which I am now I wouldn't have had liked these songs as much as I did back then maybe my focus would have been on different type of music not EDM but in that bubble I was in when I was 10 years old and with a limited exposure to different variety of music David Guetta gave me the most joy out of everything I was listening to but even besides David Guetta Everything was so electronic those years. Maybe the industry indeed tried to push for more futuristic pop at the time. Because if I try to remember 2007, 2008, 2009, up to even 2012, a lot of hits that topped the charts had that electronic aesthetic to them. Examples are like Tim Glenn's The Way I Are with Kerry Hilson. 50 Cent's AO Technology with Justin Timberlake. Oh my god, what are the times? Lady Gaga's Poker Face, Black Eyed Peas, I Got a Feeling, and Boom Boom Pow, Calvin Harris, I'm Not Alone, These Rascals, Bonkers, bon, 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 Bonkers, Rihanna's Don't Stop the Music, Kid Cudi's Day and Night, MIA's Paper Planes, Pitbull's Give Me Everything, and the list goes on. It was a new norm. At least, that's how I felt during those years. And I loved that era. I was soaking in electronic beats every day and I was never tired of it. I wanted more. Therefore, when the man himself had risen to the occasion in 2011 with nothing but the beat, just after one year of dropping songs like Memories with Kid Cudi and Sexy Bitch with Akon in 2010, oh, I was ready. Yes, yes, sign me up <laughs> for that shit, you know what I mean? Like, it was a sign that David Guetta is here to take over the charts once again. David Guetta was hungry back then. He was at the top of EDM ladder. No single DJ has ever had this much of mainstream success as he did back then. And then it dropped. The album that has changed everything. The album which contains songs that has changed people's lives. Let's talk about the tracklist to refresh our minds on what greatness this album had to offer. 
There were two sides of this project, vocal album and electronic album. I was mostly listening to a vocal album, but electronic albums also has its gems that are worth coming back even today. For example, the song The Alphabet from Electronic Album. The concept was so strange, but so unique that it could blow the listener's mind. I remember I was so impressed with the structure of the song that I showed it to many of my friends and classmates because they needed to experience what I have experienced. I needed to let them know that this kind of musical magic exists in this world. Other highlights from the Electronic Album to me include Sunshine, which is a collaboration with Avicii, uh, Dreams, and Paris. When it comes to a vocal album, it has seven singles which all were global hits. Where Them Girls At, Little Bad Girl, Turn Me On, Sweat, Without You, I Can Only Imagine, and Titanium. These tracks are mixed in the tracklist with less famous songs like Nothing Really Matters, Crank It Up, I Just Wanna F, Night Of Your Life, Repeat. I agree, I mean, these five examples uh, are not great songs, but Crank It Up with Akon goes hard. In fact, anything related to David Gitt and Akon performing together goes hard. Sexy Bitch, Play Hard, Classics. Speaking of Play Hard, that legendary song was presented in the second edition of this album, a year later on November 19th, 2012. Nothing But The Beat 2.0 had more hits up on its sleeve, such as She Wolf, we see you play hard, uh, like I already mentioned, right? And Metropolis. And, you know, like so many hits, so many hits. And if I quote David Guetta himself speaking his mind about this album, he said, 10 years already, 10 years since I released the best album of my career, nothing but the beat. 11 hit records on the same album. It's totally insane. It looks like a best of, but it's not. Well, basically that's what he said, and I agree with him. Nothing But The Beat has songs that were played billions of times across the whole world. And the variety of where the songs were played is vast. Like, Nothing But The Beat uh, was uh, being listened in people's houses when they wanted to have fun and turn up. You, you could hear Nothing But The Beat songs in the grocery stores even. Uh, at the nightclubs, definitely you could hear that. At the parties, at the weddings. Of course, those songs were getting played more when they were around as a new hot thing. Uh, during these times, you could find everyone screaming in the nightclubs, actually. I'm bulletproof, nothing to lose. Far away, far away. Or work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard. However, even these days, nothing but the beat songs are being played in public places or with personal streaming service accounts because these songs have given great memories to people back in 2011 to 2013. Hits from that album are timeless classics now, which inevitably bring nostalgia to people if they were around in that era. This is an album which I never got tired of listening for the longest amount of time. I spent a year, imagine like a whole year coming back to this album, repeatedly. I've shared my love to this album with my friends and they loved it too. I was 14 years old at that time, by the way. It was joyful to have this album during that period. Later we even got to dance to a few songs from this album during graduation night party with our class. And that night is still one of the best nights of my life. We hung out till 5 a.m. until sunrise. If you're a fan of David Guetta, you will relate to what I'm talking about. People who have never heard these songs, I just want to say you win some and you lose some. I'm sure you were part of something cool at least once in your life, but sadly, you were not a part of this era. And that's okay, we can't be everywhere. But I would highly recommend to check out this music, especially if you like electronic and EDM music. 
Granted, this album probably did not age that well, however, it's still a dance classic. Nothing But The Beat has turned 10 in 2021. I'm grateful for this album and what it has meant to people like myself. Thank you, the Yeda, for the lovely piece of art you have created. It's going to stay in our hearts forever. And there you go, guys. That was a revisit to Nothing But The Beat by David Guetta. Let me know in the comments below what you did like and didn't like. Uh, share with me your experiences with this album or its singles because I'll be very happy to read your personal comments about this topic. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel, please. It will really help out to this channel to keep the content going. Like the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.